in this video, I'm going to be showing you a really glitchy route combination in Madden 22 that you can do to really obliterate the 30 yard cloud flat meta, the double Mabel. It's also good against man coverage. I'll show you how you can actually beat man coverage and match coverage as well with this combo. But this is a trips tight end combo. And for those of you that don't know, I've been running trips tight end for the better part of the last three years. Off and on, kind of switching between spread and trips and bunch. But really, I think trips is my favorite personally. And if you want to learn my entire trips tight end offensive ebook, I would guarantee you that it's the most comprehensive guide in the Madden community on trips tight end. If you want to check that out, that'll be linked down below. You can get access to that by joining my Patreon and I actually just put a major update into the ebook showing some really unique route combinations and concepts that a lot of people aren't really using this year that are really effective specifically a user catch post that will literally beat every coverage in the game for about 30 to 45 yards and just walk you through step by step how to run the offense at a high level still have all the meta stuff but also have some additional stuff in there that really not a whole lot of people know about that i think are really effective out of the trips tight end so if you want to check that out um, again, link is in the description for the Patreon. Today, I wanted to teach you a concept that you can use. This is a wide side setup out of trip side. And what I mean by that is we, when we run this, we want our trips to be to the wide side of the field. And I'm going to show you a really glitchy motion um, to make this really effective. And it's also going to be good for 30 yard cloud flats or the double Mabel meta. And we'll show you exactly how to run this. Now, you can literally do this out of any play in the formation. Literally any play in the formation you can use for this. I personally like the play PA counter go, but you can do this out of anything. Okay, so we're going to call PA counter go. And you do need a slot apprentice for this or a hot route master. Most people at this point have one of those two um, at their arsenal. We do show you in the ebook how you can do some of these things without Hot Route Master, still achieve the same result. But Slot Apprentice, I think, really helpful, or Hot Route Master, of course, because we have Tight End Apprentice, Outside Apprentice, and Slot Apprentice just to help the, the formation, just like it helps any offense. So, without further ado, let's jump into this setup and how it can be super, super effective. So, I want to show you first and foremost the problem. So, if you, if you know Gun Bunch, um, this is actually a Gun Bunch concept that I'm going to apply to trips, and I'm going to do it in a little bit of a nuance. But basically, if you know anything about this, if I put Evans on a crosser and then I flip my play, I can run something essentially, um, essentially, you know, like this. You know, basically like this right here, do a little motion out. And what you'll see is this crosser, especially against 30-yard clouds, can really do a good job at getting over the top, as you can see. Now, the problem with trips tight end is what I'm about to show you, because you might think, well, we could do the same basic principle out of trips tight end and be just as effective. All we have to do is motion Godwin to the right on this crossing route and then maybe do something essentially like this. And it looks basically the same as the concept from bunch, as you can see right here. And what you'll notice with this setup, though, is that this crosser will literally stop running. Now, if we're lucky, he'll keep running vertically, but sometimes he'll actually cut that off. And it's even worse if it's to the triangle receiver, which I'll show you real quickly. So if I was to use this, um, this triangle receiver in this idea, again, if I motion him across, you'll see right here that he's going to go see where he goes. See how he goes all the way out here. So he's about the same spot that God was. But what I'm about to show you is a secret motion that I think really makes trips tied in a lot of fun. So we're going to take circle and we can put him on whatever route we want. If we want to put him on a hitch, we want to put him on. I like personally to put him on a slant. Then from there, we're going to put Miller on a crosser and we're going to motion him to the left. Really important that you motion him to the left. And what you'll see is he's going to go on a hidden motion and stop just outside the numbers, which is the best place. And also, he's going to be able to run the route without being in motion. This year, it's actually not very effective, um, at least in my opinion, to have motion snap a lot of routes because of the momentum uh, and, the, and the locomotion of the players. Now what we can do is really un up to us, whatever we want. We could drag the tight end, run a little mesh concept like this. Um, if we wanted to do something else, we could you know, very easily block our tight end, and then we could put our running back. It's my personal favorite thing to do is to put my running back on a ghost route. 
And what you'll see here is this creates essentially the slant post concept. But now you'll see this crosser is in the perfect spot to be able to run himself over the top of a 30 yard cloud and absolutely torch the route. Now, I'm gonna show you one last secret to making this, I think, super, super effective, specifically for the double maple meta. What makes this so good is um, another little piece that I haven't covered yet, and that's this part. I'm not gonna put him on a crosser, I'm just gonna motion him to the left. And what you'll see is when I pull up the hot route menu, once he sets his feet, he will actually get slot hot routes. So if I put him on a crosser, now you see it's this crosser, but now it's on this side, just like the bunch uh, situation. And so now what you see is because it's not a flip crosser, it's going to run the proper depth. And what you'll see is this will go over the top of the 30-yard cloud, keep running over the top for an absolute laser against this defense. Now, we can also, um, so, you, you know, that's kind of the part A of the video. Now, part B of the video is what I'm about to teach you which is um, we don't want to put him on the crosser until we've motioned him to the left. I think that's super important because then he won't stop. I think that's a super underrated tip with this. But now we want to use our underneath route concepts to force the opponent to have to um, really make a decision with his user. So a couple things we can do. The first one is we could, if we wanted to, um, you know, do a five out setup. If we wanted to do a five out setup, we certainly could. I wouldn't recommend it because it takes so long for this crosser to get open. So what I would do is something like the following. I would hitch Chris Godwin, and then I would block the tight end. And then from there, we could either run it like this and pick up every pressure in the game, or we could wheel the running back, and he we all know how good the short side wheel route is this year. Now, as the user decides he's got to go guard that crosser, we can playmaker this and throw it in between all of the zones over the middle of the field. So another one of my uh, really, I think, valuable uh, concepts uh, with this with this play. Okay, so we have the motion hitch. Another thing that I want to show you real quick, actually, let me go back to Mike Blitz 3 for just a second. Another thing I want to show you about curl flats in this game, and I think this is super underrated right here. When you have a running back, if you could put this running back on a ghost, watch what happens. Um, watch what happens whenever the watch the purple zone what you'll see with this purple zone is he will sit still and i can throw that with an outside pass lead against the curl flat that's another little pro tip with this that you can utilize now um last kind of version of a combo this is a little bit more of a man-to-man -man friendly uh what i'm about to show you is a little bit more of a man-to-man -man friendly setup and all we're going to do is we're going to still slant Chris Godwin. We're going to block the tight end. And now we're going to take Bernard and put him on an in route. And if you wanted to put the backside guy on a smart routed post, you could do that as well. So you see, this gives us a lot of crossers. It gives us crossers at every level of the field. So the running back beats man, the slant beats man. And the crosser, as you can see right there, will be a really good man beater for you as well. So there's a lot that you can do with this play. Um, another thing that I really like to do, and I think this is a relatively simple, um, you know, kind of nuance, if you will. But if we wanted to run a, you know, something like a, a hitch here to this left side, we could easily put this running back on out. And why I like the outs is because if they're playing man to man, that out route is one of the most consistent man beaters this year. This has become one of my favorite passing concepts in this game because of how consistent um, how consistent we will be able to beat the 30-yard cloud uh, over the top of the defense. And again, now their user has to choose. And if they guard this, if they guard this slant underneath, because again, you know, most people, if they're going to play spot drop zone, they're probably going to play double Mabel coverage. Just going off of like what I've seen personally firsthand or whatever. You know, they're probably going to go with something like this. We have our little slant on our little uh, running back route or whatever. And then with the running back, if you wanted to, you could put him on an out. If you don't have a ghost route, put him on an out. He'll still beat man. You still have this slant. The slant's going to go about 15 yards, about 10 to 15 yards. And then they're going to go over there. Oh, now you've got to deal with this crosser coming all the way back across the formation. Right there, he did stop. I want to explain why part of that has to do with the zone drop. Mo that's basically if they play a double Tampa 2, that can cause that occasionally. Um, the best way to get around that, I'll show you real quickly here. 
So the best way to get around that Tampa 2 is to put the skinny post on the field. If you put that skinny post on the field, he'll still pull zone. But what's nice about this is now you have a cover two beater if he does, for whatever reason, stop running. Um, another thing you can do against Tampa 2 is you could even set it up like this. This one's not as good for like a cover four, cover three setup, but it is really good. If you know they're in Tampa 2 and they're double flatting, this right here is a really good setup because you have the out route, you have a later route, and then look at this thing, just absolutely laser that defense. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn my entire Trips Tied In offensive ebook, there's a link in the description where you can go join my Patreon. And for just $10, you'll be able to unlock all of the secrets of the Trips Tied In. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.